Today we're going to show you an installation that we have been called in on uh, because the other contractor has been fired from the job. So we took over uh, to get the client out of a mess. They've been a good client on other projects for us, so they called us to come out and get them out of this bind here. What you see is they've got two 250 kW generators, and this is for a senior living center. And um, the other contractor has been a year over schedule, and all they got accomplished was concrete pad poured and two generators set in place. We've been on site about a week, and I uh, just wanted to show you the progress. So what we have here what they're working on today since the weather has broke is a little bit of the outside work where we got our core drilling done into the electric room we were able to get the paralleling main switchgear panel mounted last week on friday and uh, we've got a little bit more work here for the control circuit pipes but we got our guys over here cutting rigid, filing it down, and uh, the generators. So I'm going to walk you inside and show you what we've got laid out for the switch gear room. Bear with me here while I get inside. These are natural gas units, so once we get Washington gas out here to rework our meter here, we gotta run a high pressure gas line over and then run our high pressure service to both these generators. These two units when running will burn about three million BTUs an hour. So, uh, nice little gas line. Hey, how you doing, Jorge? Fine, you? Good, good. So we got here the main electric room. You can see up there where we got our core drilling done today to get our four inch stub through the wall. And those three pipes will run along the ceiling above all of this. And then they drop into this transfer switch right here. This is a paralleling job. So <clears throat> what we've done is we've mounted the paralleling panel here to the side of the thousand amp transfer switch, which we have right here. And um, they've got the trough put up, some of the piping started. So the previous contractor, <clears throat> excuse me, the previous contractor did not order a service rated transfer switch for whatever reason. So this transfer switch is non-service rated. This switch is a thousand amp disconnect that we had to place in line between the switch gear and the transfer switch. So what we have is this trough on the right as you see it, the one that doesn't have any pipe coming out of it yet, will feed incoming service from this switch up, over, and drop down into the switch which will be placed right here and then from the switch that feeds this transfer switch here which feeds the building and then that set of pipes there back over and down into the ct this splice cabinet here is where we're going to do all of our work when we do the power outage and then as i said those pipes will run along the ceiling over and then they will drop in the top of the transfer switch right here that will connect both of those generators to the building and provide building-wide backup. Part of our job also is here is another transfer switch that will replace the old Onan transfer switch. Once we have the new system online, the, uh, the old generator will be pulled out and the emergency circuits will be controlled by this transfer switch with the new generators and then lastly we have to connect to the fire pump and that's in another room another day 
But overall, within about five days, we uh, look pretty good on this job. Client's kind of happy, and we're moving.